Here are 30 most commonly asked interview questions related to Postman in API testing, along with detailed and informative answers. 1. What is Postman, and how is it used in API testing? Answer. Postman is a popular API testing tool that simplifies the process of developing, testing, and documenting APIs. It allows users to create requests, organize them into collections, and execute them to validate API functionality. 2. How do you install and set up Postman? Answer. Postman can be installed as a standalone application or as a browser extension. Once installed, you can create an account to sync your collections and settings across devices. 3. Explain the main components of the Postman interface. Answer. The main components include the Request Builder, where you input API endpoints and parameters. The request methods get, post, etc. The Response Viewer for viewing API responses. And the Sidebar for managing requests and collections. 4. What is a Postman collection, and how is it beneficial in API testing? Answer. Postman collection is a group of requests that can be organized together. It allows testers to structure and manage their API requests efficiently, making it easier to execute and share a set of related requests. 5. How can you parameterize requests in Postman? Answer. Parameters in Postman can be set using variables. You can define variables in the request and use them in the URL, headers, or request body. These variables can be manually set or obtained from responses. 6. Explain the purpose of the Postman environment. Answer. Environments in Postman allow you to create sets of variables. For different testing environments, for example, development, testing, production, this helps in maintaining flexibility and reusability of requests across various scenarios. 7. How do you handle authentication in Postman? Answer. Postman supports various authentication methods, including basic, digest, API key, oath, and more. You can configure authentication in the request settings, providing the necessary credentials or tokens. 8. Explain the difference between a GET request and a POST request in Postman. Answer. A GET request retrieves data from the server, and parameters are included in the URL. A POST request sends data to the server, usually in the request body. POST requests are commonly used for creating or updating resources. 9. How can you handle file uploads in Postman? Answer. File uploads can be simulated in Postman by using the form data request type. You can include a key value pair where the value is set to a file, allowing you to test file uploads to the server. 10. Explain how testing scripts work in Postman. Answer. Postman allows you to write scripts using JavaScript Postman scripting syntax to automate testing. Scripts can be used for pre-request post request, or testing assertions in the response. These scripts enhance the testing and validation process. 11. What is the Postman console, and how can it be used? Answer. The Postman console displays requests and responses, including logs and errors. It is useful for debugging and analyzing the communication between Postman and the API server. 12. How do you share Postman collections with your team? Answer. Postman provides the option to export collections, which can then be shared as JSON or through a shareable link. Team collaboration is facilitated through the Postman platform, where team members can import shared collections. 13. Explain the use of pre-request scripts in Postman. Answer. Pre-request scripts are executed before sending a request. They allow you to dynamically set variables, authenticate, or manipulate the request before it is sent, based on conditions or data retrieved from the environment. 14. How can you handle dynamic variables in Postman? Answer. Dynamic variables, such as response data from one request, can be captured using Postman variables and then referenced in subsequent requests. This ensures flexibility and adaptability in your testing scenarios. 
15. What is the purpose of the Postman test tab? Answer. The test tab in Postman allows you to write test scripts to validate the response received from the API. These scripts can include assertions that verify specific conditions, ensuring the API behaves as expected. 16. How do you perform API load testing using Postman? Answer. Postman supports load testing through the runner feature. Collections with multiple requests can be executed in iterations to simulate concurrent users, helping identify performance bottlenecks. 17. Explain the difference between Postman monitors and the collection runner. Answer. The collection runner allows you to run collections manually, whereas Postman monitors enable you to schedule and automate the execution of collections at specified intervals. Monitors are useful for continuous testing and monitoring. 18. How can you extract data from a JSON response in Postman? Answer. You can use Postman's job path or JavaScript functions to extract data from a JSON response. John path expressions or JavaScript code can be written in the test tab to extract and save data for future requests. 19. What are the advantages of using Postman over other API testing tools? Answer. Postman offers a user-friendly interface, supports collaboration, provides extensive features for request customization, scripting, and supports various authentication methods. Its versatility and ease of use make it a preferred choice for many testers. 20. How can you handle time-dependent tests in Postman? Answer. Postman allows the use of dynamic variables like current timestamps in requests. These variables can be generated in pre-request scripts, enabling the simulation of time-dependent scenarios in API testing. 21. Explain the concept of global variables in Postman. Answer. Global variables in Postman are accessible across multiple requests and collections. They are defined at the environment level and can be used to store values that need to be shared across different requests. 22. How do you handle paginated responses in Postman? Answer. Paginated responses can be handled by utilizing variables and scripts to extract pagination information from the response. Subsequent requests can then be dynamically adjusted based on the pagination details obtained. 23. What is the purpose of the Postman Interceptor feature? Answer. The Postman Interceptor allows capturing and modifying requests sent from the browser. It is useful for testing APIs that require authentication from a web application. 24. How can you perform API testing for a RESTful service using Postman? Answer. API testing in Postman involves creating requests for different HTTP methods GET, POST, PUT, DELETE, and validating responses. Testing includes functional scenarios, error handling, and security aspects. 25. Explain the use of the Postman Mock Servers feature. Answer. Mock servers in Postman allow you to simulate API responses before the actual implementation is available. This is useful for front-end development and testing API interactions without relying on the backend. 26. How do you handle versioning in API requests using Postman? Answer. Versioning in API requests can be achieved by including the version number in the endpoint URL or as a header. Postman allows you to parameterize requests, making it easy to test different API versions. 27. Explain the purpose of the Visualizer feature in Postman. Answer. The Visualizer feature in Postman allows you to create custom visualizations for API responses. This can be useful for interpreting complex data structures or presenting information in a more user-friendly format. 28. How can you schedule and automate API tests in Postman? Answer. Automated testing and scheduling can be accomplished using Postman monitors. Monitors allow you to set up automated runs of collections at specified intervals and provide detailed reports on test results. 29. What are the security considerations when using Postman for API testing? Answer. Security considerations include protecting sensitive data in requests, 
using secure connections HTS, and avoiding the exposure of API keys or authentication tokens in shared collections. Postman also provides options for encrypting sensitive data. 30. How do you handle large-scale API testing projects in Postman? Answer. For large-scale API testing, it's essential to organize requests into logical collections. Use environments for different testing scenarios and leverage scripting for automation. Collaboration features in Postman, such as sharing and version control, aid in managing complex projects. These detailed answers provide comprehensive insights into various aspects of Postman-related interview questions in API testing. For more exciting tips, tricks and more importantly, for valuable insights of interviews, please share, like, and subscribe to my channel. It has a lot of valuable information about various insights of interviews. It has a wide range of real-world portfolio projects of various technologies for interviews, and it has wide range of most asked interview questions and answers of various technologies like data science, SAP, AWS, DevOps, and full-stack web development, and more. That will be useful during interviews. It has a wide range of most asked interview questions and answers and real-world portfolio projects of various technologies for freshers. For two to three years, experienced candidates, and for five or above years, experienced candidates to test their skills by knowing most. Ask interview questions and make themselves ready for interviews.